In this tutorial for Cartoon Animator 5, we will use Pixel Part to create animated rain. Then, in Cartoon Animator 5, use the images to create an animated prop. This tutorial will work in Cartoon Animator 4 pipeline version also. We will be using this SVG file for the Thundercloud graphic. Open the file Thundercloud 47584.svg in Inkscape. Add a layer and name it Cloud. Add a second layer and name it Lightning. Open the folder, with the paths listed. Select each path, and weaken that path 12, path 10 and path 2 are the lightning. Move these paths, to the lightning layer, and hide. Now move the remaining paths, to the cloud layer. Delete the empty folder, G14. Select all the cloud paths, and go to the export tab. We now want the selection tab. Rename to cloud.png, and export as a PNG. I exported the lightning bolt, but I did not use it in this video. Here are the separated images. Open pixel part. Hit the file icon. Open example. Nature, then rain. Open the rain area. In this example, I'm going to remove the splash You can adjust some of the settings to your liking. Hit the render icon. First, for type, select image sequence. Next PNG images, save. In a location of your choosing, make sure it's in a folder. Hit render, which generates in this case. 105 images. Hit export. Here are the generated images. We can now close down pixel part. I want to now rename all the images, because we do not want a number zero image. I use fast stone image viewer. It has a battery name tool, and it's a great free viewer. Select all, and in the template area, I have set up the file name, rain 3 hash marks, and started with the number 1. Looks ok, so hit rename. T 
take the first, rain image, drag and drop it to cartoon animator 4 pipeline or cartoon animator 5, stage area. Switch over into composer mode. Click on the PSD editor button, on the left bar. Launch into your editor of choice. I'm using Kryter. If you're using Kryter, you can only use version 5.0.6 or below. If you notice, in the layers tab, the file structure was created by Cartoon Animator. Select the image, Rain, 001. In File Explorer, select all the rain images, drag and drop then into Kryter. Select Import Many Layers. Notice that, the images are not in order. The order has to be, starting rain 001.png at the top, then running to the bottom to rain 105.png. They have to be reordered. Kryter does not have the function to reorder, built in, like Photoshop. The easiest way for me, was to make smaller groups and reorder. I will speed up this operation. Reorder each group, in descending order. Once you're done reordering, select all images in group 0, drag them below the folder, Rain 0010. Then delete group 0. Do the same operation, for all the rest of the groups. Again, I will speed up the video for this operation. The last file, at the bottom is Rain 001, 
it is no longer needed, so you can delete it. Hit the save button, and it will send it back to Cartoon Animator. Go back to stage mode, and hit the sprite editor. Here are all the added images. With the sprite editor still open, open the timeline. At frame 0, make sure you're on sprite, rain001.png. Advance one frame, and select, rain002.png. If you open the motion tab, you can see your progress. The easiest way I found, is to use the advance arrow on your keyboard, to advance one frame at a time. Then select the next image. I will speed up the video to cover this operation. Open the project settings, and reduce the frames to 104. Turn on repeat. Hit play. If the animation looks ok then, hit the collect clip tab. Right click, drag your mouse to the end of the frames. Right click again in that area, and select add to action menu. Name your action, I'm calling mine, let it rain. Let's save our animated prop. Select custom, and prop. I created my own folder called, weather. With the prop selected, in CTA 4 use the plus icon, and CTA 5, select save, name your prop. Let's start a new project and test it out. Drag the rain prop, onto the stage. Right click on the action menu, and select, let it rain. For our cloud, I will be importing it into Cartoon Animator and saving it as a prop. Save it according to the steps we went over for the rain. Let's add the rain and test it out. Unfortunately, it looks like our guy can't escape the rain, 
If you haven't done so already, please take a few seconds to subscribe, like and hit notifications, to be notified of my next video. Thank you, for joining my journey of animation. Thank <music> you.